USS Forenza, give the arriving freighters an escort into the approach vector. They look like they're missing the marker buoys. This isn't a slalom course. <sighs> look at that thing! The Starbase is an eyesore! Why is it we can contribute weapons and engineers to this project, but not an aesthetically pleasing design? Maybe because all Klingon bases are unglamorous boxes colored in brown and red? If your eyes were abnormally tuned to the blue end of the color spectrum, you might be able to see the subtle nuances of color which make our buildings so pleasant to look at. Even if your architects had seven million discernible hues to work with, their buildings would still look like a bunch of army barracks. They are supposed to look like army barracks. We are Klingons. We do not appreciate buildings that weaken us with luxurious frippery. We prefer an edifice that shapes our minds and hearts for fighting. I suppose I can't argue with that. They still look like pagoda-style doghouses, though. USS Star of India. Now passing Waypoint Geronimo. Proceed on course. Is your cloak detector any good, Starfleet? This would be a prime opportunity for a Romulan special operation. It has passed all tests magnificently. We have nothing to worry about here, Captain. How do you know it works if you do not have any modern Romulan cloaking devices to test it with? That's a good question. The answer is probably classified. Ask Section 31. It is very difficult, but not impossible, to force a Romulan captain to give up his cloaking device. <laughs> Lord, Golar is hailing us on a private channel. Captain, it is the SS Dolmen Elan. The same freighter we captured in Federation space. How? How did it get here? It is on a precise heading for the base. Scanners reveal massive energy sources on board. Yes. Jareth was planning on destroying the Unity Starbase. He is the only one the freighter is not responding to my hails. Oh Lord, there are absolutely no life signs aboard that craft. Do you not see this base as the end of the Klingon Empire? We will not curl up and become cats to the Federation. You will never succeed. Death to the Federation Klingon Alliance! Perimeter alert! Why are you firing on that vessel? Responding, powering up shields and weapons. Let's see what sort of gutless animal dares seek to disrupt this historic day. Excellent work, Captain. Sensors indicate. is firing, my lord.
Captain. Jareth has cloaked. He was on heading 261. Towards the Romulan border. Damage report. Power levels fluctuating throughout the station. The blast has ionized the entire power grid, and we're losing vital functions in the upper north quadrant. Calling Starfleet Command. Starfleet Command, do you read? Please come in. This is Unity Starbase issuing a priority one distress call. I don't know. Several hundred at least. The north residential section is burning pretty badly. We're forming rescue teams and damage control parties. This is the bloodlust. We stand ready to assist, Unity. I think we've had enough help from the Klingons today. Well, it could have been worse. If that last... Today, a warrior fought a traitor. Both of them were my sons. It is a black day in the history of our house. Jareth's savage and cowardly attack has killed hundreds aboard the station. Thousands struggle to save the Starbase as we speak. My son, my only son, bring Jareth back to me at all costs. He has escaped from the fleet at Unity Starbase, but we have an idea where he might be headed. Although the Unity Station needs every ship in the area to coordinate relief efforts, your orders are to pursue Jareth. If he will not be brought back, he must be killed. We must restore the honor of our house and justice to our family.